Hello everyone, welcome back to our Learning Legal English through Case Laws series. In this video, we will study Case Law number 16-2017-AL regarding recognition of contract for transfer of land use rights being the inheritance transferred by one of the co-heirs. We'll start with the source of the case law, the overview of the case law. Then we'll move to the content of the case, assessment of the court, and finally, the rules from the case. This case law was adopted by the Judicial Council of the Supreme People's Court on April 6, 2016 and promulgated under decision number 220 QDCA dated April 6, 2017 by the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court. This case law was adopted by the Judicial Council of the Supreme People's Court on December 14, 2017, and promulgated under decision number 299 QDCA dated December 28, 2017, of the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court. Cassation decision number 573 2013/DSGDT dated December 16, 2013, of the Civil Court of the Supreme People's Court on the civil case on dispute on inheritance in Vin Phu Province between the plaintiffs, being Ms. Fung TH1, Ms. Fung TN1, Ms. Fung TH2, and Ms. Fung TP, against the defendant being Mr. Fung Van T. The persons with related rights and obligations were Ms. Fung TN2 and Ms. Fung TH3. Next is the overview of the case law. First, the background of the case law. The inheritance being immovable property was transferred by one of the co heirs. The other co heirs had been aware of the transfer but had no objection thereto. The money received from the transfer was used to provide a living for the co heirs. The transferee was granted the certificate of land use rights. For the legal resolution, in this case, the court shall recognize the validity of the contract for transfer of land use rights. The land area is no longer the inheritance for distribution, but subject to the right to use of the transferee. The applicable provisions relating to this case law are. Article 170.2, Article 234, Article 634, and Article 697 of the Civil Code 2005, which are Article 221.2, Article 223, Article 612, Article 500 of the Civil Code 2014, respectively. The key words of this case law are establishing ownership rights pursuant to agreement, estate, estate being immovable property, co heirs, transfer of land use rights. And now we'll move to the content of the case. According to the statement of claims dated April 2, 2011, and the following testimonies, the plaintiffs being Ms. Fung TH1, Ms. Fung TN1, Ms. Fung TP, Ms. Fung TH2 presented that. The plaintiff's parents being Mr. Fung Van N and Fung TG had six children, namely, Fung TN1, Fung TN2, Fung TH2, Fung Van T, Fung TP and Fung THH1. The common property of Mr. Fung Van N and Ms. Fung TG was one level four house with the additional construction works over the land area of 398 square meters transferred from his father in L Quarter, M District, N City, Vin Phu Province. On July 7, 1984, as Mr. Fung Van N passed away, leaving no will upon his death. Ms. Fung TG and Mr. Fung Van T managed and used the aforementioned land and house. In 1991, Mr. Fung TG transferred a land area of 131 square meters to Mr. Fung Van K, leaving the remaining land area of 267 square meters. Ms. Fung TG wished to give a part of the land area to build a house for Ms. Fung TH1. However, Ms. Fung TG could not divide the land area because Mr. Fung Van T was holding the certificate of land use rights. Consequently, Ms. Fung TH1 initiated a lawsuit against Mr. Fung Van T to the court to compel Mr. Fung Van T to return the certificate of land use right to Ms. Fung TG. The court reviewed and ruled to compel Mr. Fung Van T to return the certificate of land use rights to Ms. Fu TG. However, Mr. Fung Van T did not return it. In March 2010, Ms. Fung TG had made a will with contents as follows, to give Ms. Fung TH1 a land area of 90 square meters and all the trees on the land. 
On December 19, 2010, Mr. Fung TG passed away and the entire assets as mentioned above were then managed and used by Mr. Fung Van T and his wife. Now, the plaintiffs requested the court to divide the estate pursuant to Ms. Fung TG's will, giving Ms. Fung TH1 a land area of 90 square meters. The plaintiffs requested the court to divide the estate pursuant to Ms. Fung TG's will, giving Ms. Fung TH1 a land area of 90 square meters. They proposed that the remaining area of 177 square meters be divided in accordance with the law. The parts of the inheritance belonging to Ms. Fung TN1, Ms. Fung TP, and Ms. Fung TH2 would be assigned to Ms. Fung TH1 to use. In addition, the plaintiffs did not propose that the court resolve the issues related to the trees on the land and the agricultural land area of Ms. Fung TG. The defendant confirmed the details of the family relationships and assets, however provided that the entire construction's works on the land were built by the defendant in 1997 and Ms. Fung TG arbitrarily sold the land area of 131 square meters to Mr. Fung Van K without having discussing with the defendant. He disagreed with the request of the plaintiffs because he was the only male child of his parents and he was using the property as a residence and place to worship the ancestors. In first instance civil judgment dated October 4, 2011, the People's Court of Vinyan City ruled to accept part of Ms. Fung Th1's request to compel Mr. Fung Van T to pay Mr. Fung Th1 the total amount of 340 million VND to assign Mr. Fung Van T the land area of 68 square meters and not accept Ms. Fung Tn1's, Ms. Fung Th2's, and Ms. Fung Tp's request to divide Ms. Fung Tg's estate in accordance with the law. After the first instance hearing, on January 18, 2011, the plaintiffs being Ms. Fung TN1, Ms. Fung TH2, Ms. Fung TP and Ms. Fung TH1 submitted an appeal to object to the first instance judgment and to request the court to divide the estate pursuant to the will and in accordance with the law. In the appellate civil judgment dated February 23, 2012 of the People's Court of Vinh Phuc Province, the court ruled to Accept the request by Ms. Fung TN1, Ms. Fung TH2, Ms. Fung TH1, and Ms. Fung TP to divide the estate, assign Mr. Fung Van T and his representative being Ms. Fung TH3 the land area of 267.4 square meters valued at 1,337,000,000 VND. Aside from that, Mr. Fung Van T and his representative being Ms. Fung TH3 were responsible for paying the value of his part of the inheritance equivalent to 982,200,000 VND to Ms. Fung TH1. After the appellate hearing, Ms. Fung TH3 and Mr. Fung Van T submitted a request to reconsider the aforementioned appellate judgment by the People's Court of Vinh Phuc Province. In decision number 131-QDKNGDTV5 of the Chief Prosecutor of the Supreme People's Procuracy as to appellate civil judgment, it was recognized that the appellate court did not account the land area which Ms. Fung TG had sold to Mr. Fung Van K and the assets to be divided, which had basis. And the first instance court determined that the inheritance being the total land area of 398 square meters, including the land area transferred to Mr. Fung Van K, was to be divided, which was incorrect. However, the land area of 267 square meters in the name of Ms. Fung TG should have been determined as the common property of Mr. Fung Van N and Ms. Fung TG that was not yet divided. Ms. Fung TG was entitled to dispose only one half of the land area of the total land area of 267 square meters of the common property, being the land area of 133.5 square meters, 90 square meters, as given to Ms. Fung TH1, and the remaining 43.5 square meters is to be divided between the five heirs. As to the one half of the land area of the total area of 267 square meters of the common property being the estate of Mr. Fung Van N, the statute of limitation for dividing the estate had run out. As Mr. Fung Van T had been managing the land area, he is entitled to continue doing so. The appellate court was incorrect to determine that the total land area of 267 square meters was Ms. Fung TG's estate to be divided pursuant to her will, giving an area of 90 square meters to Ms. Fung TH1 and dividing the remaining area of 177.4 square meters into five parts of inheritance. At the cassation hearing, the representative of the Supreme People's Procuracy upheld the contents of the protest by the chief prosecutor and requested that the Council of Adjudicators to accept the protest of the chief prosecutor. And now, the findings of the court.
According to the case documents, the land area of 398 square meters was the common property of Mr. Fung Van N and Ms. Fung TG and they have six children. On July 7, 1984, Mr. Fung Van N passed away without leaving a will, then the land and the house were under the management and use of Mr. Fung TG and Mr. Fung Van T. In 1991, Ms. Fung TG transferred the land area of 131 square meters to Mr. Fung Van K. In 1999, Ms. Fung TG was granted the Certificate of Land Use Rights over the area of 267.4 square meters wherein she and Mr. Fung Van T and his wife were managing and using. Ms. Fung TG's children were all aware of the fact that Ms. Fung TG transferred the land area to Mr. Fung Van K, but they had no objection thereto. Therefore, there is basis to find that Ms. Fung TG's children consented to the transfer of the land use rights over the aforesaid land area of 131 square meters to Mr. Fung Van K. There is basis for the appellate court to exclude the land area which Ms. Fung TG transferred to Mr. Fung Van K from the common property. However, the first instance court determined that the total land area of 398 square meters, including the land area transferred to Mr. Fung Van K, as the estate to be divided was not correct. On December 19, 2010, Ms. Fung T.G. passed away. Before her death, she left a will indicating that Ms. Fung T.H. 1 was given the land area of 90 square meters within the aforesaid total area of 267 square meters. As the contents of the will reflected Ms. Fung T.G.'s intention, it was lawful and reasonable for the two courts to accept the validity of the will. However, as the land area of 267 square meters in the name of Ms. Fung TG was formed during the marriage, it should have been determined to be common property of Mr. Fung Van N and Ms. Fung TG not yet divided. Ms. Fung TG was only entitled to one half the land area within the total area of 267 square meters. Therefore, Ms. Fung TG's estate being one half of the total property of which an area of 90 square meters was given to Ms. Fung TH1 pursuant the will, and the remaining area of 43.5 square meters was for the five remaining parts of inheritance. As to the land area equivalent to one half of the total land area of 267 square meters as the common property, the statute of limitation for dividing the estate of Mr. Fung Van N had run out. Mr. Fung Van T, as one of the co-heirs, did not agree to divide the estate. As such, Pursuant to regulations in subsection 2.4, section 2, part 1 of resolution number 02-2004-NQHDTP, dated August 10, 2004 of the Judicial Council of the Supreme People's Court, the conditions for division of a state of the aforesaid case were not satisfied. Therefore, those who had been managing and using the land area would be entitled to continue doing so. It was incorrect for the appellate court to determine that the total land area of 267 square meters was the estate of Ms. Fung TG to be divided pursuant to the will, giving Ms. Fung TH1 a land area of 90 square meters and the remaining land area of 177.4 square meters to be divided into five parts of inheritance in accordance with the law. In addition, Mr. Fung Van T did not submit an appeal but the court ruled that Mr. Fung Van T shall be obliged to pay the amount of VND 200 as the appellate court fee. The appellate court did not rule to return the advance first instance court fee to Mr. Fung T N1, Ms. Fung TH2, and Ms. Fung TP, which was incorrect. Therefore, the protest by the chief procurator of the Supreme People's Court had basis for acceptance. In light of the aforementioned reasons, the court rules. To set aside appellate civil judgment number 06-2012-DSPT of the People's Court of Vinh Phuc Province and first instance civil judgment number 11-2011-DSST of the People's Court of Vinh Yen City, Vinh Phuc Province in their entirety. And to transfer the case to the People's Court of Vinh Yen City, Vinh Phuc Province for first instance hearing again in accordance with the law. And finally, the contents of this case law are as follow. In 1991, Ms. Fung TG transferred the land area of 131 square meters of the total land area of 398 square meters of the said lot to Mr. Fung Van K, with the remaining land area being 267.4 square meters. In 1999, Ms. Fung TG was granted the Certificate of Land Use Rights over the area of 267.4 square meters wherein she and Mr. Fung Van T and his wife were managing and using the land and the house over it. Ms. Fung TG's children were all aware of the fact that Ms. Fung TG transferred the land area to Mr. Fung Van K, but they had no objection thereto. 
Miss Fung Tiji's children said that Mr. Fung Tiji used the money received from such transfer of the land for herself and her children. Mr. Fung Van K was also granted the certificate of land use rights. Therefore, there is basis to find that Ms. Fung Tiji's children consented to the transfer of the land use rights over the aforesaid land area of 131 square meters to Mr. Fung Van K. There is basis for the appellate court to exclude the land area which Ms. Fung Tiji transferred to Mr. Fung Van K from the common property. However, the first instance court determined that the total land area of 398 square meters, including the land area transferred to Mr. Fung Van K, as the estate to be divided was not correct, and that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video of learning legal English through case law.